on the way forward for Latin America. I spoke to Augusto de la Torre, chief economist for the World Bank on Latin America and the Caribbean, and I asked what the key issues facing that region are. I think Latin America is in a very interesting crossroads. It has had 10 years of a fantastic economic performance with a lot of social progress. Perhaps one of the best decades Latin America has had in the last 50 years. It was characterized by First, a fair and high degree of macroeconomic stability, which is new for the region. This is a region that used to have a lot of financial crisis in the past. So the macroeconomic stability was accompanied by significant growth in social progress. 70 million Latin Americans, or perhaps 75 million, left poverty. About 50 million Latin Americans joined the middle class. And now this big uh, period of progress seems to be coming to a stalling because uh, growth is slowing down in all emerging markets, including China. Latin America is part of this wave, and it has the challenge as to how is it going to reconstruct growth in order to keep up with the pace of social progress it has experienced. It, is it something that either the government or the private sector can foresee and solve, or is it something that has to just go its natural course, that no country in the world grows at a high rate of speed forever. Ultimately, they, they, they grow a little slower, they grow a little faster. No, it's, there's quite a bit of room for policy to correct things. Let me put it this way. In the absence of significant reform effort, the rate of growth in Latin America will come to a lower level. It's already coming to a lower level. It was around 5 6% in the past. It's now about 2.5%, maybe 3%. So for Latin America to continue to make social progress, it needs to raise the rate of growth above 3%. And that requires structural reform. Which, which country do you see in Latin America that has that formula correct? They've got the structural reforms in place. They've got the right policies. They've got the right private investment. Is there one country you can identify with that you say, hey, that's a very good example of one? I think a common theme in the region is the preoccupation with growth. In the past, Latin America was preoccupied with financial instability. Fortunately, this is more under control now. So the preoccupation in growth is general. But if there are perhaps two countries where the winds of reform seem to be blowing stronger, I would think are Mexico and Colombia. Mexico has announced a very broad range of reforms, including in the energy sector, in the tax uh, code, in education quality. They are thinking about important infrastructure reforms. Uh, Colombia also is trying to take advantage of what could become a very important peace dividend to the extent that the uh, issue with uh, violence is brought under control. So the two countries seem to be on a wave of reforms. Together with them, I think Chile and Peru are, another, are two countries where the discussion on productivity and growth-oriented reforms is taking momentum. I spoke to the Brazilian uh, Development Bank president, and uh, we had a very candid discussion about some of the issues facing his country in Brazil. And one of the key issues is income inequality. They have been struggling to try to fix it. On one hand, uh, it's positive that many people have been brought out of poverty, but at the same time, the, the gap between the rich and poor still remains, and it becomes almost, I don't want to say impossible, a very difficult situation to solve. And I'm wondering what your solution might be. Income inequality is becoming a problem worldwide. It's becoming a problem for Asia, which didn't used to have that problem in the past. It remains a problem for Latin America because Latin America comes from a very high level of income inequality. Perhaps the good news for Latin America is that over the past year, 10 years or so, income inequality has been coming down slowly from a very high level. And so, and this has been happening even as the uh, rate of income inequality has been going up in the rest of the world. The question for Latin America is how to, you can you continue with that trend? And that will require significant fiscal muscle. 